Hi, my name's Evan Lawson. I'm the Artistic Director of Forest Collective and joining me today is my sister and Creative Associate for Visual Art, Fiona Lawson. So, hi Fiona. Hello. Um, so, we're here to talk about our upcoming event, Shared Experiences, which is a, our visual art program for this year. Shared Experiences will be taking place from the 19th of September through to the 22nd of September. It'll be open from 12pm until 6pm and uh, it is at the um, Bluestone Church Art Space in Footscray, which is on the corner of Lawson Place <laughs> and Hyde Street uh, in Footscray, just near Footscray Station. And this event uh, is a part of the Melbourne Fringe Festival for this year. So um, this, uh, this exhibition um, has been brought about by Fiona and also by our Executive Director, Jasmine Bardell. And um, maybe Fiona might start by just telling us what this event is and how it came about to being created. Um, so basically it's kind of we're just a group of artists who we've known from art school or throughout the collective come together working on a number of drawings and exchanging with each other so yeah. we'll pass one to number two to number three and so on. So an artist will sort of begin a work and yes. then, then there's a, uh, an exchange facilitated between various artists yes, that are yeah. involved in the, in the exhibition. Um, and what sort of mediums are people working in? Do you find that there's sort of an, an overarching theme to the work that's coming back or it's just like totally spontaneous or...? It's very interesting because I think the artists all work very differently. So yeah. as far as mediums are concerned, I think the artists stick to what they're comfortable with and, yeah. and what they're, they're very... Familiar. Yes, with, yeah. yes. Yeah. And that way they yeah, can excel yeah. themselves within the work. And... The work has really, as far as subject matter or, or what have you, it's been very different because it's kind of a clashing mm. of practices and yep. ideas. So, well, what sort of practices do we expect? Uh, well, that's interesting. We've got one artist who is, frankly, obsessed with comic books. So yep. it's got that comic book vibe. I think right. there's other artists who just find, who like uh, ridiculous ideas or images or yep. characters there's a lot of also characters from mm. another artist throughout the work and then there's some really okay. open and fluid work it's just yeah. it's very different and sparse yeah and having had a, a sneak peek at some of the images it's um funny and yes. and beautiful and it's very surprising i think is probably yes. the best word and that's the hard thing about an event like this because we i think you were included we didn't know what we were going to no get. no had yeah. no idea and, and there's no brief see, yes exactly it's totally free and yeah. it, it was funny how we went down the humor path all yeah. the artists a yeah. little bit kind of made it a bit ridiculous which yeah which was really surprising and kind of really fantastic rather than mm. people taking yeah. art and themselves too seriously it's a big yeah. change and I think part of the for me the reaction I got from some of the work was a little bit of tongue-in-cheek towards contemporary art itself yes. which I think is quite interesting yes and like I said comic books and there's a lot of references to film and music yep. and it's really quite funny and there's a dialogue between a number of artists as well actually almost talking to each other throughout the exchange yeah, right. which is really interesting but yeah, kind cool. of keeping a bit funny or poking fun of each other a yeah. little bit which is yeah. It's really quite nice. Yeah, totally. And I guess adding to that layer, we've got this space in Footscray, this, this church space attached to the Maribyrnong City Council, and we thank them very much for the support of this event. And uh, it's an old chapel. Um, it's not a, a gallery at all. It's, it's been renovated into a performance space. So how are you approaching the, the hanging of the work and the presentation of it? It's very interesting um, to work in a space that isn't a gallery space and it's mm. really nice to see art outside of a white cube. Yeah. And those challenges that it throws up, how, yeah. how can we hang things without hanging things? Yeah, totally. And we're going to be using a whole range of different um, methods mm -hmm. and materials. So whether we're going to mount some, we're mm -hmm. going to frame some, we're going to hang some, we're going to fishing like wire hang some, okay. so yep. clothesline. We'll see. We'll yeah. see when we get to the space as well. We've got to be really flexible. Yeah, of course. You've got to be prepared for some uh, things to pop out that were, are not expected, Absolutely. I'm sure. Yeah, totally. Um, and how... Maybe just to give a little bit of a background. So um, I obviously approached you sort of 2010 to be involved with the yep. company. How do you feel that your time has been since then and what sort of uh, maybe some highlights or some interesting points that you've been able to um, 
curate and and bring to the company yeah it's been uh challenging coming from when i first started was i was basically an individual artist and he kind of approached me to do one particular uh, yeah. work with the video tape yep and i kind of it was interesting because it was kind of setting for the work and mm. your work that kind of melded together which was really nice and so, then yeah you know, stepping into a curator yeah ship or you know yeah. managing artists is a is a challenge mm. but it's a good challenge people are people yeah. But it throws up some really great ideas and it changes my practice or yeah. has influenced my practice and how I think about art. Oh, good. How I yeah. art. And I guess we should say that so this first event was a recital that I put on of my music and some other contemporary music yeah. which had was very intimate lighting, a very small space that people were sort of surrounded by and they entered this dark room that was full of this kind of rustling yeah. videotape that was everywhere it was a pretty um awesome vibe yeah to engage in a in a concert with and a very big fire hazard yes. but it was it was um it was very evocative yeah. and that led on to an, a few other works that we did within the, the group performance-based work yeah. um and then of course there was uh 2011 you curated a small exhibition yes. as a part of a theater yes, collaboration was, which was, was quite interesting and that was a big challenge yeah it's oh. really hard to sort of put art into a performance space and, yeah. and make yeah. it engaging engaging and make yeah. it a point where it's kind of just not tapped on or forgotten which yeah. you you learn through failures basically yeah. Which yeah, of course. other things are going to highlight and that's perfectly fine but you go oh that didn't quite work, work yeah. well so we change how we think yeah but I, I think installation and it works really well within music and theater mm. and kind of and um making a point into space where people mm. have to engage engage yeah rather than having it sort of tucked away yeah a nice pretty picture on the yes. wall or whatever yeah, yeah. as complimentary as it can be yes sometimes is it necessarily as inclusive yes or as engaging for a viewer they yeah. kind of go oh that's nice and then they don't mm. think about it which throughout you want people to yeah. think yeah of course yeah. and do you feel with going back to this project the shared experiences that um, th there was no brief were there any um, other um, projects similar to this that were inspired were some inspiration behind the work yeah well or from behind the project yes yeah. from uni we uh, I was at BCA with uh, four of the other artists yep. and we did a collaborative project through a printmaking exchange kind of similar we did it with Monash University mm -hmm. uh, I sort of the idea stemmed from that but kind of pushing it and using drawing as a medium rather than printmaking because yep. it is labor intensive yeah and it, it and that throws up issues of what what printmaking you're using because yeah. some of it just doesn't mesh together yeah of course um, so it kind of stemmed from there and working with people who I was fam familiar with their practice and knowing that it wasn't complementary. That was yeah. kind of part of it. I didn't yeah. want to, us, our works to look similar. Yep. Which it, they don't, but they kind of, it was a challenge, which mm. was what we wanted, what yeah. I wanted. Yeah, of course. Now that's very exciting. And some of these artists were involved in that original swap? Yes, yeah. they were. Yeah, cool. So that's, that's really interesting, I think, yeah. to then see them what they're going to bring to the plate with this, along with other artists, um, members of the company, um, new members, old members, what they're going to bring to the table. So I think yeah. it's going to be a, a very interesting week, yes. uh, week before next, week after next. Um, so basically to wrap up, we, we've got our upcoming event, Shared Experiences. It will be on the 19th of September. We have an opening that evening from 7.30, uh, which is an open invite to everyone out there to come. And um, once again, it's at the... Blue Stone Church Community Art Space in Footscray, uh, next to the Footscray train station. So if you check out our website, www.forestcollective.com.au, uh, all the information will be on there. So we hope to see you there. Thanks. Bye.